to get started, you're first going to find the directions for the Maya Sundial project in your Google Classrooms. Then you're going to click on this link and watch the National Geographic video about Maya culture. The next step is to click on this link and that's where you will find the dictionary for Maya hieroglyphs. And it'll look something like this, where you can click on any of these letters of the Maya alphabet, and it will pull up a menu full of hieroglyphs. When you click on these individual hieroglyphs, then it will show you exactly what that glyph means. And if you want to, you can click in the search bar and search for specific words that have meaning to you. You're going to select eight hieroglyphs that say something about you as a person, about your personality, your likes, your interests, your values. So for me, for example, obviously I'm an artist, so that was the first hieroglyph that I searched for and found one that I can easily draw. The next one is someone of the water. I love to swim, I love the ocean. And this one here is one of the month hieroglyphs. This is the month sign for the seventh month of the Maya calendar. And I was born in July, which is the seventh month of our calendar. This one here is first harvest. I am a gardener, I love to garden. This one here is yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Nine, there are number glyphs. Um, and nine is the day that I was born in the seventh month. This glyph represents several different meanings, but the basic idea is this glyph represents God. And God is first and foremost in my life, and it's an important part of who I am. So I wanna include that glyph in my sundial. Once I've settled on my glyphs, then I'm going to practice in my sketchbook drawing each one of these. The easiest way to draw some of these glyphs is to get the basic shapes. There might be several parts to one glyph. So if you look at this, I've got two, three different parts there. So I'm going to start with some light drawing of a basic square and then a big rectangle, and another rectangle there. Once I have those in place, then I can polish it up a little bit and get the glyph drawn exactly as shown. When I'm done with my pencil, then I'll switch up to one of my black permanent pens, whether it's a black Sharpie or these Microns that I get and then carefully go over all of the lines that you need. This is again, this is just practicing. And when we practice, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it gives you practice in drawing what you're going to want to carefully draw on the good paper. And once I've drawn everything with the pen, I'm going to erase my pencil lines. The next part I want to do is get my paper ready. Now, if you have paper, you can trim it to where it is nine by nine and follow along with my measurements. If you don't have a paper that's quite nine by nine, just use what you have and do the best you can. If you have something circular, like a large can that you can trace, that would work. Otherwise, you're going to do what I have done. Following the directions, you want to begin by dividing your paper and creating a nine inch circle on your nine by nine paper. Measure and mark the middle point, which is four and a half inches on each of the four sides. 
then measure and mark the center, which is also going to be four and a half inches. And the reason why we do that is so that we can find the exact center. There's four and a half inches there. There's four and a half inches there. When I do that, then I can connect those marks and mark four and a half inches here. And then I'm going to measure the other two sides and find my four and a half inches, mark it there, and mark it there. Again, I'm going to connect those two marks and find my four and a half inches there. And it's right where those two marks intersect that is my center. Once I've found my center, then I can go and connect the corners and mark four and a half inches out. There's a half inch, one, two, three, four, and mark that. Again, connecting that corner down the middle. There's my half inch, one, two, three, four. There we go. And once I have that done on both sides, then I have marks that I, then I can easily draw my circle and have it be pretty close. Again, if you have something this round, you don't want it too small. So we're going to be drawing a lot of detail. So you really want a good size circle. This is about as small as I would dare to go because most of you don't have the real fine tip permanent markers that I have. If you do, great, but still I would not go any smaller than my nine inch circle here. And now I'm ready to mark off where I'm going to put all of my glyphs and my self-portrait in the middle. Now I'm down to instruction number seven. Build your sundial drawing using the ruler or a compass, if you have a compass, to further divide your circle so that you have a central image surrounded by eight segments where you will put your chosen hieroglyphs. Your central image will be a stylized Maya self portrait. So in the middle here is where I want to create my next circle. Again, if you have a can or something circular that you can place in the middle, you want to make sure it's very centered. So if I measure my can, it's about four inches. And there's my nine inch circle. If my can is four inches, that's going to leave me with five extra inches. So I want approximately two and a half inches on either side there. So I can just mark two and a half inches there and two and a half inches here and do the same thing over here. Mark two and a half inches there and two and a half inches there. And now I have guide marks where I can set my can right there and trace around it. And now I don't have to do any more measuring. And I'm going to trace around this circle that I just made just so you can see it in the video. But at home you're going to want to wait to do all of the black sharpie work until after all of the drawing is done. If you mess up or change your mind about some mark, you can erase it. But once you've put that black sharpie down, you're committed. Now again, I want to divide this up into eight segments. So using my marks again, I can create a line here. And now I've divided my 
circle into four segments and now I just have to divide it once more and again using that center mark and the corners of my paper I can just line that up and now my circle is evenly divided into eight segments where now I can begin drawing my hieroglyphs. I can add uh, decorative divisions here and there and then in the center here is where I'm going to create my Maya inspired self-portrait.